We all agree our religion contains an amazing revelation. He was revealed in the flesh, vindicated by the Spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed amongst the Gentiles, and believed on in the world, taken up into glory. The First Epistle to Timothy, chapter 3, verse 16. We have seen our well-beloved Lord in the days of his flesh, humiliated and sorely vexed, for he was despised and rejected of man, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. He whose brightness is as the morning wore the sackcloth of sorrow as his daily dress. Shame was his cloak, reproach his vesture. Now then, inasmuch as he has triumphed over the powers of darkness upon the bloody tree, our faith beholds our king returning with dyed garments from Edom, robed in the splendour of victory. How glorious must he have been in the eyes of the seraphs, when a cloud received him out of mortal sight, and he ascended up to heaven. Now he wears the glory which he had with God, or ever the earth was, and yet another glory above all that, which he has well earned in the fight against sin, death, and hell. As the victor, he wears the illustrious crown. Hark, how the song swells high! It is a new and sweeter song. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain, for he has redeemed us unto God by his blood. He wears the glory of an intercessor who can never fail, of a prince who may never be defeated, of a conqueror who has vanished every foe, of a lord who has the heart's allegiance of every subject. Jesus wears all the glory which the pomp of heaven can bestow upon him, which ten thousand times ten thousand angels can minister to him. You cannot, with your utmost stretch of imagination, conceive his exceeding greatness, and yet there will be a further revelation of it when he descends from heaven in great power with all the holy angels. At that time he will sit upon the throne of his glory. The splendour of that glory, it will ravish his people's hearts. Nor is this the close, for eternity shall sound his praise your throne, O God, is for ever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, if you would joy in Christ's glory hereafter, he must be glorious in your sight today. Is he so? Amen.